Hey everyone, it's been a while since I made content just specifically for this channel. Um, right now, I'm kind of in a like a bad mind space, <laughs> so I'm not going to like delve like deep into thoughts and stuff on this trailer. Also, I've just been it's just been rough for me, so I'm just like I'm I'm really like tired. I have to make a coffee for this. It's like it's like 1 a.m. right now. So there's been a list of events that I've missed. I haven't been able to keep track with what's going on in the industry. I'm super upset about it. Um, Because at the same time, I'm doing stuff. Like we're doing the Spawn Trap podcast. Awesome. I have like a regular stream schedule now and a secondary channel just for streaming i mean i've been putting like archive streams on it right now but now i'm like live streaming to it so if you're watching this on youtube uh, i'm not live streaming on twitch right now i'm just recording this um <clears throat> so if you're on on youtube right now this is my main channel hi sometimes i do these little reaction streams here um but or sorry reaction videos but i sometimes stream uh all right i stream all the time actually on youtube and that's over on my live stream channel which is youtube.com slash at till plays live i'm sure i'll have a link in the description if you want to check that out um and you know there's our podcast channel at spawn trap games i've been doing that stuff um but in terms of this channel i've been you know i've been doing those videos where i let you that's the other thing there's another channel i'm about to talk about uh i've been for the past few years, I've just been releasing videos letting you know, hey, here's free games that you can play every weekend. I let you know every weekend what the free games are, whether you have subscription services, whether the games are actually free, whether you can claim to own them or if they're just a free weekend game. There's a trial, stuff like that. Whatever I can find, I let you know about every weekend. Those were flooding up this channel, and that's what this channel is becoming. And I knew it was going to be a temporary thing and I was going to want to move that content somewhere else or pitch it to have somebody else take it. So, like somebody's like, hey, this is a good idea. I can do this better. Let me let me do the videos. And I'd be like, go for it, man. Take it off my hand. I just want it as a, I just want it as a resource. I want people to use it because not a lot of people know like there's there's people like me. Hey, content creators, what do I play? I'm t I have the same old games. I can't buy stuff. What can I play to so I can stream, make videos on? Or maybe I'm just I'm just bored. I'm a gamer. I want to play games with friends. What can I play? That's free right now. Um, so it's it's a resource that I wish I I was utilizing when I was starting. To like I'm like I don't know because I was just buying games. Be like hey everybody, what games should I buy and stream? I don't know. Let's <laughs> just think about what games to play. So I think that's just a, a, a nice resource to have. And I got uh, somewhat of an audience on TikTok. Um, I think I was, I was starting to get an audience here on YouTube. Uh, but it wasn't what I wanted this channel to be. And I didn't have time to put out anything else. And then that's all that it was, it was supposed to be an alternating thing. Here's free weekends. Here's uh, some other content I'm putting out. I wasn't able to do that. So as a result, I'm trying to trying to cut this as short as I can. As a result, I made another YouTube channel. That's the video explaining what it is in the intro to this uh, YouTube channel that you're on right now. So if you haven't seen that yet, go to the main page. There's a video there. If you're not subscribed, that's what you'll see. Um, it's me explaining what the new channel is. So it's at free video games on YouTube. However, it doesn't show up when you search for it, which is weird. So you actually have to type out youtube.com slash at free video games though i'll probably have a link to it down in the description below if you want so my intention is to keep going forward at what i've been doing the past couple years just every weekend let you know about free games that you can play so if you want to have that as a resource make sure that you subscribe to that channel you turn on notifications so you can see those videos um, I post shorter video, uh, shorter versions of them on TikTok, Instagram, that kind of stuff. But it's not always the full video, so it's best to watch those on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, uh, definitely check that out if you want. That said, there's been a lot of events that I've been missing that I just didn't even know about. There was a Capcom one. Um, 
I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to react to that. I've been thinking about like what what things I want to react to for this channel that we didn't get a chance to react to for Spawn Shop that I don't think is worth me grabbing people and saying, hey, we missed this, let's react to it. We're trying to do um, uh, Summer Game Fest. I'm trying to prepare for that as best as I can. Um, but I'm trying to like look back at what we missed and I'm like, do I want to create reaction content for my channel? Like I said, I'm a little bit stressed right now. I'm in a bad headspace. So I, I feel like I have to pick and choose things. The Capcom one, I'm sorry. I don't think I can do that one. I don't think uh, I can sit through it and react to everything. I'm not a huge Capcom guy. I'm, I'm interested in some of the games that they, they have coming out. I think there was one where it's like, I can't remember the name of it. It was fr it was like an E3 or Summer Game Fest trailer, and I'm like, that looks cool. I don't think the game's out yet, but it looked. I think it had it, it involved monsters or mechs or something. I'll have to look back and see what it was. But I remember there's a Capcom game that I thought looked cool, and I'm not usually into Capcom games. Um, I was actually trying to see if uh, Ella from um uh, from from Spawn Trap and um uh not Nesmi on uh, uh Twitch and Kick. Uh, if she wanted to react, because she's a big Capcom fan and Street Fighter fan, and I think they're doing Street Fighter stuff. Um, I did not get a response back, but I don't think she's actively keeping track of the Discord, so I probably should have mentioned her or uh, messaged her directly. Um, but I think it's a little bit late now for that, and she's probably watched everything, so that we wouldn't have a genuine reaction anyway. And I just wouldn't be able to find the time to put that together. Uh, the other thing is there's a Final Fantasy showcase as PlayStation State of Play. I'm not a Final Fantasy guy. Uh, I think Court is, but I don't think really she's in that space right now to be doing a reaction thing just for a Final Fantasy game that it wasn't live stream. So whatever. Um, and there was a we're I'm trying to do um Summer Game Fest like I said there's one of those events that happens every year it's called um the Future Game Show which is pretty much exactly the PC gaming show and then also the Gorilla Collective showcase and then also like a handful of other PC indie game show showcases but it's like really long it's like 3 to 4 hours long for no reason they did not they did a like a preview one of those that's about as long as as the typical one uh earlier this year and I didn't know about it so I'm like maybe I'll do a reaction to that one just the sheer length of it I don't think I can and I don't know if there's anything else I missed this is the exception this is the one where I need to watch this it's a Nintendo now it's not actually a Nintendo showcase it's an Indie World Showcase, but it's for the Nintendo Switch. So, I'm always down to see what cool indie games I could play on the Switch. Uh, I still love my Switch. I know a lot of people, like, moved on, and, you know, I, I get it. It's a, what is it, a five- or six-year-old handheld at this point that is running outdated hardware by the time it came out. <laughs> so, like, I get it. The Steam Deck's around. There's a whole bunch of other alternative handheld solutions to play modern games. So uh, so I do get it. But I still love the Switch. It's a, it's a nice little, little portable console you take where, anywhere with you. The Joy-Cons are nice and handy. It's got a lot of versatility. It's modular. Um, and it's got Nintendo games. I mean, you got to love it, right? So uh, I'm always down to see what kind of new stuff that we have. So when Nintendo announced this, of course, it was last minute and I could not prepare for it and I had to miss it because it was an inconvenient time for me. So I'm watching it now. I'm not live streaming this uh, because I, I, I can't handle live stream. I'm just going to watch this and then we'll see how I feel afterwards if I want to keep talking. Um, but we're going to react to the Indie Showcase. Um, and if you want to see more reactions like this, I try to avoid the solo stuff for my channel here. Um, I, I try to do as much group stuff as possible with Spawn Trap. So maybe consider following the Spawn Trap YouTube channel. We just put out a two-parter two podcast 
on the Xbox acquisition of Activision Blizzard because we've been on an unintentional hiatus on that podcast, so we had to catch up on months of news, and that was the singular topic, and we overshot how much we needed to catch up on, so it was a two-parter podcast, (laughs) so that's on YouTube. The audio version is one part. It's about three hours long, I think, for the one part, Um, and there's also a more recent Hit Pause MCU podcast. That's our Marvel podcast, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, I can't remember what it was about. It wasn't the Black Panther one. It was news that happened after Black Panther it, it, up until that point that we recorded it. I'm sure we're doing another one soon because Ant-Man and the Wasp Quant- Quantumania is out. I still have not seen it. It's been out for about, I think, one or two days now <laughs> as of recording this. So I'm probably going to be watching it this weekend. And we're going to try to figure out when we can do a podcast for that. As well as the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So if you're interested in Marvel discussions, we have that there on Spot Chef too. But I think our bread and butter is the live stream reactions. So we'll be doing that for Summer Game Fest. That's coming up very soon, June 8th and the week following. There's going to be a lot of major reactions. We're at least going to be reacting to Summer Game Fest, the Ubisoft Forward, and the Xbox slash Bethesda slash Starfield Showcase. Also, the um, Devolver Digital Showcase, which I think might be happening right after the Summer Game Fest Showcase. That's all that we really know about. All the other stuff is kind of the minor stuff that we have been reacting to. And I have that time cleared, so I might still react to it myself. Um, but we'll see. So if you want to see that, again, go follow Spawn Trap. If you want to see free video games, go follow at free video games. If you want to see my live streams, go follow at Till Plays Live. That said, let's dive into this indie showcase. I always forget they have the, they sold. Wait, why don't I hear anything? Welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're excited to share some upcoming indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. Let's get the show on the road. See those NPC games are recognized. Many years ago, at the top of Mount Fugu, the cat god, Miko, appeared from a sakura flower floating in a nearby river. Uh, this art style makes me feel like I've seen this game before village, in a previous granting showcase. Granting each one good fortune and prosperity in turn. But some in the village became impatient for their own blessings, and in a fit of jealousy, they drove Miko away, banishing him from the land. Many years passed, and our village worked hard to create our own success. The story of Nico drifted from memory. Yet there are some who I don't still know this believe game. in the power of I feel like I could have, but I don't know. Welcome to Mineko's Night Market. Long ago, yeah, I don't know this game. This is from Humble Games. Worshipped the mythical sun cat Nico. However, recent sightings reveal this myth may no longer be a legend. I imagine this game will be added to the Humble Games collection. If you subscribe to that, befriend the townsfolk and craft all sorts of doodads in preparation for the weekly night market. And wow, this market is bustling. There's a ton of things to do here, like joining parades, entering cat races, and performing on stage. Did we mention cat races? Nearly everything you find on the island can be sold at the market. Now that's one happy customer. And if you're just itching to explore, the island's got lots of secrets to uncover and puzzles to solve. But be careful, you might encounter some meddlesome agents along the way. Why? Stop by Mineko's Night Market. <laughs> what? Up shop that seems so out of place. September 26th. 
Oh, my time at. Are you talking about like my time at Porsche? Those games. I can't believe I didn't know what. Uh, publisher was Because we tried to Love adventure, role playing, and simulation games? My time at Sandbox. This sequel to My Time at Porsche has it all. Through a captivating story, rife with dozens of characters and side quests, you're tasked with restoring this post apocalyptic desert community to its former glory. Equipped with your trusty tools, you'll gather resources to assemble machines and transform a derelict workshop into a finely tuned facility. My time at Porsche kind of had like Lots Minecraft vibes, right? Options are also in your toolbox. I never played it, but I think I've seen some gameplay. Building and decorating your home however you'd like. I think I might have downloaded a demo or something. Rock than just building. Why not venture into ancient ruins and scavenge for relics? Or say hi to the locals and make some friends? Unfortunately, this town's kind of popular with the monsters, so take them down <laughs> in melee combat. <laughs> My time at Sandrock launches on Nintendo Switch. Like a Switch penguin this dog? Tons of my actions chasing me right now. I don't need no consequence, 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 consequences of my actions chasing me right now. Someone take this consequence, consequence, consequence. Oh, I have my head there. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to what this game is. It looks like, um, uh, What's that game called? Why am I blanking on it? Wait up, man. There's there's so many games that are like this Ever already. Ever dreamed of having your very own yeah. restaurant? Yeah, cast well, games. now you can. In um, the Rogue Light Management Sim, played up. Create, decorate, and automate the What's restaurant that game of your dreams. What's that game called? Everybody's Place played it. Place and arrange appliances however you'd like. Um, but be strategic about it, because you're going to have your hands full. Lots well, of hungry blessed, customers will be clamoring for meals at lightning fast speeds. Fortunately, you don't have to undertake this gastronomic journey alone. Up to four chefs can play together locally or online to help run this culinary empire. Manage both the kitchen and front of house to keep your customers happy. At the end of every randomly generated shift, you can acquire new high tech Overcooked. appliances like turbo ovens Overcooked. to upgrade your kitchen. There's so many games that are like this. There's a game that was inspired by Overcooked, successful. I think from the same developers, that was about when moving stuff. You're just moving stuff like you're, you're like a moving company. Um, and there was like four other games that spawned around the same time with the exact same gameplay and concept. <laughs> As a game. I was the ideal place for the evening and a warm coat and my bright red coat of Darwin. I could then relax and enjoy the evening. Oh, I want a pet. So for me, coats are a synonym of warmth and heat. These feelings we wanted to express in our adaptation of the planche game, Calico. We have hope that you will enjoy it. Oh yeah, okay. I know this game. Good looking. Looking for the perfect board game night? Check out Quilts and Cats of Calico. Never mind. Adapted from the real-life tabletop game Calico. You'll make a quilt. There's a video game called Calico. Place I know because I promoted it or I like added it to the free games video several times. Cats. It's been on like Twitch Prime oh, and stuff like that. Each cat has a preferred pattern, so stitch and style to become. So there's a board game called Calico. Get cozy with up to three friends in local and online multiplayer. Join ranked matches against random players, or try your hand at weekly challenges. You can also take some time to customize your cats and give them a positively great look. Cuddle up with Quilts and Cats of Calico, launching on the Nintendo Switch system this uh, fall. My mod curious going on back here. I know, I know what this game is. Yeah, I've seen a preview of it. It's kind of like, kind of like Guitar Hero, Crypt of the ne Necro Dancer. And as a rhythm game guy, it looks interesting to me. There's like mini games and stuff based on rhythm. Yeah, it's got good music and it's fun to play. Yeah. 
Rift of the Necrodancer, yeah. Okay. Uh, I played a demo for Wow, this game has some sick uh, Crypt of the Necrodancer, I, I think. Or bobbing your head for a some while. Hyrule, one of the In two. This of Crypt of the Necrodancer, um, you've still got to move to the rhythm, but it's got a new musical twist. And I don't know why I, it, why I didn't continue Monsters with it. will come flying at you, so match the on-screen prompts to but, kick them yeah, to the curb. Yeah, this looks interesting. Each one has a different movement pattern, and some take multiple hits to defeat. Oh, and let's not forget boss battles. That'll really get you grooving. And if you need a break from the baddies, there's a special mini game to play for each of the five character storylines. Keep this the beat alive like a when Rift of the Necrodancer launches on something. Nintendo Switch this year. Next up, we've got some DLC news to share for games we previously featured in Indie World. Oh, okay. More puzzles await in the cupboards and drawers DLC for a little to the left. Get tired. Oh, I remember that game. 25 new puzzles <laughs> as you explore a world of small it's a spaces, weird game. secret compartments, and surprising stuff stuffed into every drawer. Charming new illustrations. There is there's like a certain type of person that like this game DLC just speaks to. You know? Switch <laughs> this June. Everything's gotta be like perfectly Dig placed. Into more roguelite puzzle action with the Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon Puzzlers Pack. Venture forth as two Wait, there's a shovel. Wait, have I seen this? Puzzle with quandary challenges is, and make your is way there a the Shovel Knight Match Castle 3 game? You can also pay Mr. Hat a visit for over 20 in game hats to modify runs or pick up some nifty new relics in Chester's shop. This free DLC shovels its way onto the Nintendo Switch system this spring. <laughs> Expand your flock in the Relics of the Old Faith update for Cult of the Lamb. Cult of the Lamb. Dozens of new items, relics, and enemies are scattered across remixed dungeons, guarded by the new versions of the four guardian bishops. Take your spoils back to the cult with new buildings to construct and followers to recruit. I'm surprised how well this game, like, quest. well, I don't know how well and it's sold, but like, game, how popular the faith going with the new in, like, Gauntlet the culture boss rush it's been. Modes. This free it seems like it's a big success. Switch, April 24th. Yeah, hello, I am Funny Man Video Game Donkey, <laughs> Donkey. from Big Mode Publishing. <laughs> I am joined today by the creator of Animal Well, Billy Basso. Hello, I'm Billy Basso, the developer of Animal Well. I've been working on Animal Well for over five years at this point, all alone, making everything that goes into the game, including the engine. I was trying to give people the experience of finding something new in a place they've already been before. Pretty much somewhere that's filled with puzzles that you would want to keep coming back to over and over again i watched i, I don't know much about donkey but i watched his donkey Nintendo kong Switch. videos because I, at the time i was playing through the donkey kong games well, well, watch well. sounds like you're ready for animal well in this atmospheric pixelated world you'll search for treasures as you gradually uncover a dense environment where you go is entirely up to you perfect so i shouldn't need to worry about anything dangerous right yeah about that you're not alone in this labyrinth many interesting creatures live here but some might be hostile, so stay alert. Any items you've picked up can be used in a number of ways, like making a quick getaway or having friendly creatures help you out in a pinch. And speaking of items, there's a lot to uncover here. So get crafty with your items and see what you find. I'll be well prepared then. Summon your courage and curiosity for Animal Well, launching on Nintendo Switch early next year. It's interesting. That's Score Bunny's middle evolution, right? Raboot or something like that. Guess what? It's crime o'clock. Oh, mm, that's odd. My watch says otherwise. I meant the puzzle <laughs> exploration game. Anyway, I thought it said something very different. You've got over forty <laughs> cases to solve across time and space. But where, or <laughs> I guess when, do I even begin? Elementary, my dear Andrew. Look at your map. There are lots of eras to visit. From the lost age to a cybernetic future. 
In each era, you'll see how crime scenes develop for different Oh, this is like... Types. Wait a second. Could I do something in one era and change events in another? Exactly! By traveling through time, meeting characters, and resolving each case... This is an interesting concept. I've never seen this unlocked. before. Sounds like a timeless experience. Set your alarms to crime o'clock when it launches. Yeah, it's on like Nintendo a, it's Switch like a um, hidden object Hello, kind I'm of Peter, game. Project not not like hidden object. I'm like, Ola, the art director. And I'm Mario, like those hidden object producer. books. For the last ten years, but we created when a you of do or find effects, the, the time periods now of a different stage. A That's kind of cool. These titles are not only a celebration of the original game, but also Scandinavian nature and folklore, the origin of so much of our game's uh, visual identity. We hope you'll find as much wonder as we have in this universe and join our homecoming. We see you at the top of the tower. Cheers and touch. I Whoa, like the art style. Powers. Shocking, am I right? Tesla Grad Close. 2. In Tesla Grad 2, you'll harness electromagnetic Ooh, it's a platformer. powers to solve physics-based puzzles. Move seamlessly through Scandinavian inspired Oh my god. Accompanied by All right, this is the first game of the showcase where I'm like, yes. Nordic folk tunes. But this land holds many dangers as fearsome beasts stand in your way. Master the art of Teslamency and defeat them to discover additional areas to explore. Plus, you can play a remastered version of the first Tesla Grad game, which adds enhanced visuals oh. and 10 extra is it two challenge games in one? Both Tesla Grad 2 and Tesla Grad Remastered bolt onto the Nintendo Switch. Oh, they're separate games. Okay. Later today, you can oh. get the games separately or bundled together in the Tesla Grad Power Pack Edition. Adding to wish list. Do that right now. Oh, I know this game. Oh, it's a system update. That's right. Grab the system. Added stability. I think I've seen, we've seen this game, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a whole Indie World Showcase uh, news thing here. Yeah, Tesla Grad uh, Power. I, I should not look at anything else on this list. It's going to spoil me. Mobsters, monsters, and mysteries? Let me give you the Sounds Canadian like price pajamas. right now. Sign me up. Okay. Set in the 1920s within the West of Loathing universe, Shadows Over West Loathing, of Loathing is a slapstick it, yeah. RPG full of silliness and stick figures. Your Uncle Murray asks you to help run his antique shop in Ocean City, but he's nowhere to be found. While searching for him, you'll encounter a sinister plot that could spell the end of the world. Venture through a sprawling black and white world filled with talking frogs, sentient math, and eldritch horrors. There's also a ton of roles to play. March to the beat of your own nefarious schemes as a jazz agent, or hold the curds of the cosmos in your hands Curds as a cheese the wizard. Cosmos. The digital version of Shadows Over Loathing launches on Nintendo Switch okay, I don't think, later um, today. The, the physical version of the game will launch this fall. Hola, somos parte del equipo de The Game Kitchen, creadores de Blasphemous y The Last Door. Soy Enrique Cabeza, director creativo. Yo soy David Erosa, productor. Y yo Raquel Alcázar, productora junior. Blasphemous es un juego muy querido por la comunidad y desarrollar una secuela nos da la ocasión de volver a trabajar en su mundo y enriquecerlo aún más. En esta segunda parte hemos tenido la oportunidad de plasmar tanto nuevas ideas de diseño como nuevos caminos artísticos y narrativos. Os invitamos a echar un primer vistazo a Blasphemous 2. Esperamos que os guste. The Penitent One has returned. In this sequel to Blasphemous, you'll undertake a pilgrimage through a land ravaged by a foul curse known as the Miracle. Hack and slash your way through legions of bloodthirsty foes and treacherous traps in this brutal action platformer. Choose from three newly added weapons, each one deadly in their own way. Wield the war sensor for slow but powerful flaming strikes. The rapier and dagger to attack with lightning fast precision. And the praying blade for vicious and versatile cool combos. Too. By unlocking weapon memories, you'll learn more moves that'll help you survive the dangers lying ahead. 
Penitence awaits in Blasphemous 2, slashing onto Nintendo Switch this Yeah, but is there a Blasphemous 1 bundle? Like Riley? there is for uh, Riley, the other game. There? Riley, come in. Can you hear me? Hear me? Nice. Jacob, four hours ago, a cult opened a portal above Edward's oh! Island. Riley, yes, but are we are we really the ones to do something about it? Have you seen anyone else around? We've been all over. We've seen different timelines. Is Gone this back to the past? Where is alone. this from the after party there makers? No Riley, this looks like after party. After party was so good. I loved it. Looks a lot spookier though. <laughs> After party was just fun. Oxen free two lost. Oh yeah, that's right. Oxen free two. I guess it does start, kind of have a similar Riley vibe. returns to her hometown of Kamina. I never played Oxen free uh, the original. Waves. But what she discovers I'm getting all sorts of spoilers in the eShop right now because the, the link the didn't of the give me, bring me to the page and made me sign in and said there's the nothing available and then it wanted me to sign in stack. again. Tune the radio so, to communicate with supernatural beings. Oh, no, wait, this is just a Manipulate sale page. the world around you. Tempt him, by the way, for is a shadowy on sale cult if you want to open their own reality altering portal. While exploring Pokemon. this beautiful yet treacherous town, use the new walkie talkie conversation system to connect with local contacts. Some of them may have valuable info that can give you more insight into Kamina's mysteries. It's newly released. Your right? choices will have an impact on Riley's development, relationships, and the story. Will you forge deep friendships? Turn a blind eye to those in need? It's all up to you. Tune in to Oxen Free 2 Lost Signals, airing on Nintendo Switch July 12th. 40 bucks. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo Switch. too bad e for two games. Thanks for staying with us so far. Before we go, we'd like to show you a sneak peek of several more indie games coming to Nintendo right, montage Switch. Montage time? Check it out. Montage time. Here we go. What do we got? Paper trail, okay. Little kitty, big city, okay. Potato. <laughs> this looks like um, a lot of twin stick shooter kind of games. Escape Academy coming to Switch. Kind of surprised it's not on there already, to be honest. Five Nights at Freddy's. Available later today. Okay, so it's already out. Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. This looks like um, that Xbox game that came out, Hyper Rush or something. That's all for today's Indie thing? World. We hope you enjoyed everything shown in today's showcase. No Silk Song. A huge thank you to the indie community and indie partners working on games for the Nintendo Switch system. And as always, thank you for watching. Follow our official Twitter account to stay up to date on the latest news from Indie World. That was kind of short. Next time, happy gaming. All right, cool. Uh, to be honest, um, I think the only thing that really stood out for me, um, I mean, Blasphemous, Blasphemous Two looks cool. Um, it does kind of give me sort of like Castlevania vibes, which, which I am I'm currently playing right now. Um, uh, cool art style. Looks like it'd be a fun platformer. I think the one that obviously the one that I that got my attention was te uh, Tesla Grad, Tesla Grad, Tesla Grad Two. I've never I've never even heard of this game. So there's two of them in one. It's a bundle. So yeah, I might get that for Switch. Uh, however, there are several games just like this, not this like art style and and um, unique kind of gameplay mechanic, but a lot of you know indie platformers that 
just look awesome uh, that are on my uh, to-do list, on my uh, backlog. So I'm not buying it right now. It is on my wish list, but I feel like I got to go through the other ones first. And right now, um, what's the one on my... I know recently I bought... <sighs> I keep buying them too when they're on. I, it's going to go on sale. And I'm going to buy it, and I'm still not going to play it. I know, I know what that that thing is. Uh, there's a game from last year or two years ago from uh, uh, we I did a reaction for Spawn Trap. Um, that I'm like I need to play this game. It looks awesome. Um, it was um, I'll I'll let the video play. Uh, the Legend of Tian Ding, uh, and I bought it when it was on a Steam sale, and I. I think there's like I think it went free at some point for that's what happens uh, like all these games like I wish list them they go on sale I'm like I'll buy it because I'll play it eventually and I just don't and then I get it for free from like prime gaming or something like that so I imagine it's going to be the same thing for Tesla grad but uh it is on my it is on my switch playlist or, or wish list because uh that does seem like a great switch game so definitely want to check that out but anyways, uh, I think that's it for me. Again, if you want to watch me stream live on Twitch and YouTube, it's uh, twitch.tv slash tiltplays. Or if you prefer here on YouTube, you can go to at tiltplays live. That's linked down in the description below. All my stuff is in the link tree link down at the bottom in the description below. Um, for our podcast, Spawn Trap, go follow at Spawn Trap Games on uh, YouTube. For free video games, go follow the new channel at free video games. If it's not coming up on search, I don't know what the hell's wrong with YouTube. Just go to youtube.com slash at free video games. That's where they'll be. And uh, did I have something else to promote? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. Uh, I'm going to work on trying to get more content to this channel. I need some time, though. I... Uh, when I'm not so stressed out about some stuff, I will start putting some Twitch clips and things on here like I used to. That that used to be the thing that I enjoyed doing the most. Just quick clips that got to the point. Uh, but they were fun to edit, fun to showcase. Uh, I'm, there's been like years of stuff that's just been like I need to go through and, and create clips of. Because uh, uh, I'm sure there's some like great moments that I wish I'd had the time to highlight on here so yeah that's that's gonna come eventually so yeah i, I know you, you might be following and subscribing from the free video game so i understand if you unsubscribe and you go follow the new channel that's fine that's why it's there uh but if you want to see more content that i create uh, i hope you stick around i hope you subscribe because i'm going to be posting uh, new stuff on here eventually uh, for now, you can check out the old content. There is a lot of old archive streams on here. I don't do full streams and stuff on this channel anymore. They're all on the new channel at Till Plays Live. This is just where I used to do them. Um, and I know there's like uh, full Let's Plays and stuff like that. I haven't been doing that uh, lately either. And again, the the clips and things like that. It's I it's just been laid on content. I I understand it's been more of these reaction streams because they're easier to put together. I just press record and I just start talking. Um, but I I want to put more edited content on here. That's the full point of this channel. So, um, hopefully you stick around, and uh, and yeah, I'll see you uh, next time. Good night, everyone.